Uh, this video will uh, explain uh, mobile install users. So um, let's go here to the uh, setup control panel option. It's going to open up all of your settings. And um, mobile install users that are already set up can be managed uh, here. If you open this up, you'll see that there's a um, list of who's been set up as a mobile install user. And if you want to uh, mark any of these as inactive, that will uh, free up a license if you're adding someone else out here. Uh, or if, you know, uh, staff changes over time, you can just, um, you know, manage your um, mobile installers out here. Um, you can change their role. You know, if you click this, you can change from installer to administrator. And that's referring to the roles in uh, mobile install. An administrator, um, you know, gets to view everything in the mobile install interface. An installer... Um, only gets to view their information in the mobile installer interface. Um, you can buy seats here if you uh, click this button. Uh, this will open this interface where you can um, choose how many more seats that you want to add um, and go ahead and just click the buy mobile install seats. Go ahead and close out of there. Uh, now to create uh, mobile install users, uh, you do that under the uh, users tab here and um, you can see any um, user that's already set up as a mobile install user has this little icon next to it that you can see here. Uh, let's just create one from scratch or we'll create a new user uh, in the software or at least a resource that is also a mobile installer. So, and uh, let's just see, we'll put in a uh, email, uh, mobile number if you want to. Um, you can choose roles for the um, person that you're creating here. We might, again, we'll make a technician in this case. Uh, if you want, you can fill in the cost per hour uh, for comparing um, when you enter actual hours on tasks and service orders. Uh, that will be a compared, um, a number that gets compared. Uh, if you want them to be able to sign into uh, System Integrator itself, into SI 2015, you will click this and then create a, a proper username, password, and give them a, a user group that would define their permissions. Uh, or if you just want to create a mobile installer, here you can do that, where you're just going to click mobile installer, uh, choose the role for them, and uh, go ahead and uh, click save and close. If you don't have enough uh, licenses purchased, you'll be prompted to um, go ahead and uh, purchase those. So if you go ahead and click yes to do that, it will allow this to go through. Uh, of course, you could have said no and then... Um, either got an approval to purchase more of the licenses, again, depending on your permissions and the software, or um, go mark, um, again, it may perhaps a former installer as inactive. But uh, here, uh, the mobile uh, install user was created. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, that mobile install user is going to receive an email that's going to look uh, similar to this one that will have a login link, uh, uh, their username, as well as a temporary password. And also here you can get to uh, the manage uh, mobile installers uh, interface as well if you uh, need to make any additional changes. And when you're done, just close the form.